Lisa Golston, because of COVID-19, tonight's meeting was virtual. That means more than two dozen people who called in waited on hold for hours, waiting to have their voices heard. Many demanding changes to the way the city funds the police department. You elected officials who are paid with our tax money need to stop funding the violent police that have been terrorizing our community in Sacramento and stop wasting our time. Your duty is to work for all the people in your district, not the police union. Again, your duty is to work for all the people in your district, not the police or their union. Rest assured, we will be voting in droves should you fail to defund the police and refund programs that render an overfunded, bloated, and often violent police force unnecessary to begin with. Callers want the council to reconsider $10 million earmarked for the police department's budget, saying that money should be spent on community programs and services to prevent violence, address mental health and homelessness, and fund schools and youth programs. At one point, Mayor Daryl Steinberg asked callers to keep their comments on the topic listed in the agenda, addressing the city's state of emergency, not defunding the police department, saying... And I'll give plenty of leeway here because... In, in some ways, many of these issues are all wrapped together. Now, earlier in the meeting, the city manager said that $10 million in the proposed budget is for police union labor agreements. In a statement yesterday, Mayor Daryl Steinberg says he does not support defunding the police department, but would like to have more conversation about the types of 911 calls that police respond to, specifically those that are not related to criminal activity. Reported live downtown, Emily Maha, KCRA 3 News. Emily, thank you.